How was the uh, retention from the time off to the day? Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, we actually installed uh, a little bit, and uh, you know, I thought it was good. I think, you know, as coaches, we're really pleased. There's a lot of competition, and when you have a lot of competition, the guys, uh, I think they pay a little bit more attention in meetings, and the uh, attention and effort and everything in practice is a little bit better. But you know, I thought it was one of our better days for coming back off of a pretty long break, a spring break. Um, you know, the guys competed, uh, didn't finish the way we wanted to about the last three or four periods, and uh, so that's something to learn from. But you know, overall, through seven practices, uh, offensively, I really like the uh, spirit, the competition. You know, the guys are a fun group of coach right now. Any conditioning issues coming off the layoff? You know, uh, not too bad. Um, you know, a little bit. Sometimes the big guys up front are the ones that it's a little bit harder for. But uh, you know, I mean. I, some of the guys were talking about, you know, some of them went home and worked out of their school and did those type of things. And uh, so, you know, I think the big thing that we're really focusing on, especially with the young guys, is the tempo and the speed and being able to think when you get tired and be able to still play fast. But, you know, overall, it was really one of our better days for uh, coming off uh, spring break. In your particular position group, I know you've probably got a great, a good idea of who the first three are going to be, but are you starting to develop some depth behind yeah. those guys, and who are you seeing step up? You know, a guy I'm really proud of through seven days is Travion Thompson. You know, I mean, he's a guy that kind of gets forgotten a little about a little bit. Sometimes at that position, we've had a lot of guys that were fortunate to come in and play as freshmen, and, uh, you know, for, for Travion, uh, the situation was a little bit different because we had good numbers uh, coming, and uh, so we knew he was going to be a good player, but... I'd say he's a little bit further ahead uh, than, than where maybe uh, you know some of us expected him to be. And, uh, so that's you know critical in the nine-man position where Mike Williams is. You know, as a coach, the thing that you get excited about, you know, is to see a guy like Mike Williams go make a big play, and then two plays later, you know, there's Trevion going the other way, you know, making another big play. And uh, you know, because it's important, the depth. Uh, obviously, you got a long season. And a tough schedule, you got to have more than just those front, front three guys. And uh, so I, I would say Travion, uh, Jermon Hopper has had you know the best uh, you know few practices that, that he's had in a while. His attention's been a lot better. And uh, you know I think he's always had a talent. It's never been an ability uh, issue with him. It's always been a focus and uh, just consistent commitment to doing the right things on and off the field to be a great player. And uh, I really like the way that he's working. And then you know Hunter Renfro. You know, he's a guy nobody really wants to talk about and think about, but I mean, he's just consistently day after day making plays, and uh, so he's going—he's he's working to find his way uh, for a seat on that bus. Do you find out a little bit more about your guys, maybe character-wise, during this time of year? Because th there's no game right around the corner. I mean, this is this is all work. Yeah, you know it is, and I, I think it tells you the guys that that love football and the guys that just do it. And uh, you know the guys that love it are taking advantage of every opportunity. You know today was practice number seven. I mean we're halfway through spring practice. We've got seven more practices. Spring games number 15. And uh, I mean the guys have been really good focus. Uh, they've got a good work ethic. A lot of that comes from leadership. You know, I just feel like they've got a really good core group. Uh, you know that have been in the in the program for a while with Coach Sweeney and kind of the culture that has been developed. You can see those those leaders just kind of taking over, taking those young guys, and the young guys don't know any different. And uh, so we've been pleased with that.